Hi, John here in Auckland, Otahu, and I'm just having my breakfast. It is kina, fresh, from across the way from Auckland, and Richard went out to get it, he's my son, and now it's making me want to go and dive and get some kinas too. Put my dive gear over there in the scuba, but I'm having this plowman's bread, beautiful bread. And um, the plate of tomato and noodles and pork mince in there. With um, what else have I got? Yeah, that's it. And this bread, see, it's yellow pumpkins here yeah, and sesame seeds. Beautiful bread, I love it. And that's my breakfast. Two of these dinners, you can see, as you can see. That's what it looks like. There, look, it's falling out of the tablespoon, dessert spoon, and it's going to disappear. There it goes. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Eat your heart out, Jamie. We should be here tomorrow. Burn up the white on you. And there's the bread. See the colour of the texture? Texture, sesame seeds, healthy, I'm keeping you healthy, and some nice butter with a tick on it of health. Okay, so there's my soup, and there's my kina. Now you see it, now you don't. Okay, have a nice day. Today's Monday, Labor Day, holiday, and I don't think I'm going to the swimming pool today. I'm getting ready to go to Waitangi tomorrow. Jamie, hurry up. We're off. Okay, and Matt Taylor, I'm just having my breakfast. So I'm just sending the email off to uh, um, Michael Fallon, the Secretary of Defence, British Navy, military. And I've just emailed it to you, the PDF, to hard copy send to... Um, to him about the 28th of October um, celebration of the flag, Confederation flag, and also our 182 years since the British immigrants and Navy uh, arrived uh, at Kororareka or Russell, what it's called now, Bay of Islands on Kingi Tauru, our chief's native lands. Okay, so there's a story behind all of that that I'm bringing up to speed on the 28th inside the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, with the Chiefs. I've just got off the phone to Jim Wikotu in uh, Whakatoa here, in uh, Whakatane, that way, the Potiki, and he'll be coming up and speaking to the Navy and put the flag up. Our flag is going to be domineering dominating the world, gracing the skies and the seas, as it should have been, as it will be. King William IV's 1835 Declaration of Independence Day, 28th of October, 1835, and also the arrival of a year earlier of the Navy, first sale and purchase agreement of Kororareka Bay of Islands on the... Um, on the 20th of March, 1834, Clinton uh, was the British uh, agent at that time, and they set up the first government there in Russell, and um, it went from there to Auckland and then to Wellington. So that is the first arrivals. We've already been in the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, opened it up for business, and legally declared the flag as being authority of this country founding document and also the pound note and gold coins of King William IV, Acts 1834 of Westminster Parliament. So everything happened in 1834 um, with uh, British legacy here of title. They came here and confiscated all the uh, New Zealand Company titles 
Australia and New South Wales titles of Queen Victoria and reissued them back under King William IV um, uh, titles straight to Britain. So that's who we are, the Hapu natives. Finally, after all these years, have come together with our flag to make it work for us. What King William gave to us for was free passage through the world, trade, commerce, banknotes, and also protection from the British military. So we're saying in a, a letter, um, proclamation that I put on Facebook and on um, to the um, British um, Secretary of Defence, Michael Fallon, and also on YouTube and Facebook, Twitter, <coughs> our legacy to that um, authority and jurisdiction of Admiralty, financial, martial law, force law that we're using now as levy debtor instrument with the pound note on anyone who has defrauded the public of the world, public of New Zealand, public of Britain, UK and Europe and also America. So to our friends who are working alongside us, Daryl Payne and Rennie Powers in um, California, good luck for us on the 28th of October celebrating this uh, historic moment in time of our flag to bring us all together in the world. And with the demise of Hillary Clinton and Obama gone forevermore off the planet of the Earth, and with Trump looking more likely to be the next President of the United States for the good, and with the Pope lurking in behind him, supporting him on everything he says and does, we're still to come up against that with the Moai Crown, King William the Fourth Trust, and the highest flag in the world of a king of England, Britain, UK, to go out and trade under our own self-government, the Moai, King William, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World. Okay, you'll see all that online now with the letter to Britain, Navy, Military, and Westminster government from us, the chiefs, Hapu, and the people of New Zealand who support us and our king line authority, monarchy sovereign from Westminster, Britain, UK. Okay, so that's my kinna doing all the talking and it's going to refresh my brain and make me talk faster and straighter and with the Chiefs on the 28th of October 2016. Celebrating with you, Matt, uh, in business with me now as the leader of the the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company registered in the company's house in London, UK, and also the leader of the Moai King William Party over there, and I'm running the Moai King William Party here in New Zealand as being political on the stage, world stage, with our crown in place, our flag in place, our king in place, King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch sovereign, um, King of Britain, UK, currently, and King of Devon, uh, King of um, Hanover, uh, from Devon, England, um, and King of Moai here in the Pacific Islands and New Zealand. And to Matt, cheers to, for letting, uh, sending that hard copy letter to Michael Fallon, to the British uh, Secretary of Defence and the British Government that we are celebrating, we're expecting the British uh, representative to be at Waitangi for the 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Um, celebrations and the raising of the flag for the first time. Okay, so we're hoping that 
somebody will turn up from the Navy to represent the Navy occupation of these lands with the Hapu chiefs. The occupation, we want to renew our contract, our private contract with Britain, UK and the British military from that day on, 28th of October 2016, to renew or to rescind one or the other. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Have a nice day. Bye for now. John.